Well, you made it. <laughs> no backing out now, sucker. Caitlin, it's not very often that estranged college friends get a chance to reunite years later. It's even less so that they realize that they'll be together forever. And even less so still that all of it happens right when it means the most. When we reconnected in 2018, I was at one of, or more realistically, the lowest point in my life. Trying in every way imaginable to not have to feel anything that I had been dealing with at the time. And then, you came back into my life via a swipe of happenstance. A board app browse brought me my wife. But it wasn't really random, it wasn't really luck, and it wasn't really happenstance. It was fate. See, when a man comes into this life, the most important woman in his life is his mother. And I lost mine, right as I gained the other most important woman in a man's life, his wife. See, I knew even back then that we were endgame. And I don't just get to marry my fiance today, because you are my best fucking friend, my rock, my biggest cheerleader, my harshest critic, and the person quickest to give me a swift kick in the ass when necessary. The person who makes me the happiest I've ever been and also pushes buttons I didn't even know I had. But I wouldn't give up even a day of it for anything. And with this ceremony, these vows, my actions, and most importantly, my heart, I intend every day to do at least one thing, to slowly, if futilely, be the man and husband you deserve. Zach, I tried to pinpoint the exact moment that I realized that I loved you. That aha moment that everyone talks about, but I couldn't. I realized that I don't remember a time when I didn't love you. Falling for you wasn't falling at all. It was walking into a house and suddenly knowing I was home. Five and a half years ago, you were in my life again and suddenly I was laughing a little harder, I was crying a little less, and I was smiling a whole lot more. My walls came down because you truly saw me, flaws and all, and for some reason you loved me anyways. <laughs> for the first time, I let myself be truly vulnerable because I knew you loved me, and with you my heart was finally safe. When I look at you, I see love, acceptance, forgiveness, and now I see my husband. You make me feel safe, secure, and loved every day, and I promise to do the same for you always. As your partner, I both promise and apologize that you will never be bored in life. <laughs> I promise to protect you from spiders as long as we both shall live. <laughs> I promise to love you at all times, even during football season. I promise to listen when you talk and to laugh at your jokes as long as you keep telling them. Zach, what it really comes down to is, I choose you in a hundred lifetimes, in a hundred worlds. I'd find you and I'd choose you. You are more than a soulmate. You are a piece of my soul forever and always. Zachary and Caitlin, by witness of the gods, the goddesses and the ancestor, I pronounce you married. Zachary, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> it is my honor to introduce for the first time, Mr. and Mrs. Sullivan. When Zach asked me to be his best man, I was honored. Not like it was really much of a choice. I was still honored. <laughs> Anybody who has a brother knows that there's always some kind of unspoken competition when it comes to dating and women and things like that. And over the last 10 years, I've taken a little bit of pride as the little brother in thinking that I was winning or that I was gonna be the winner first at the end. Oh, 
But I, I stand here today a humble man. <laughs> Zach, you found a woman that you love, you found a woman that you adore, and you found a woman that puts up with all the weird ass shit that you do. <laughs> <laughs> but more importantly, you found a woman that loves you and adores you just as much as you do her. And I can't believe I'm about to say this. My brother, you have officially won. <laughs> I love you. If you've got Scrip as a friend, you've got a friend for life, and you're lucky to have her. Zach and Scrip had a winding path, similar to Scrip and I, where their friendship had grown with each and every interaction. I remember the first time I met Zach, I was actually meeting the guy Scrip was dating at the time, and his friend Zach. Now I remember giving this guy, don't hurt her or I'll have to hurt you, best friend speech as usual, but unexpectedly, Zach actually chimed in with something along the lines of, and I'll have to help. That was the time when I knew Scrip meant something special to him, and I'd be seeing more of him in the future. Their friendship is what started their love, and that friendship will continue to grow through their marriage as long as the two of you continue to dedicate yourselves to your relationship. Zach, I know Scrip will continue to do this for you. And I see you doing this for her. Congratulations, you two.